All right, congratulations guys. I'm hyped to get you guys finally into module three so that we can get you guys to that next level. We wanna get you guys results. That is the whole point of this. We want to get you guys real results. It's been too long where we haven't given you guys enough structure to just help you out the best way possible. That's what this is all gonna be about for module three. And initially, I just wanna show you guys the setup with TradingView, okay? So if you guys are new, new, you probably need help with actually setting up the indicator in itself. Usually when you first join TradingView, I'm gonna have links presumptuously here for you. So you guys should already have TradingView downloaded, but if you don't, go to the TradingView website. It's gonna be under the more section. You just go to download. You can download either the app on your phone as well, but you also have the desktop version. I prefer the desktop version for setting this up first. And then when you log in on your phone, it'll be perfectly set up the way you want it to be. That's personally what I did and it worked out fine. When you log in the TradingView, this is probably initially what you're gonna see before you get in there. This is not ideally the setup what we're looking for, right? We want to give you guys the most clear, easy trend identification possible, right? So how do you do that? So when you get first get started, all you're going to do is pop up here to indicators and you go to your invite only scripts. Now, if you guys don't see invite only scripts yet, you're probably going to have to go send your name either in the discord or just hit me up personally and I will get you set up as fast as possible. If you already have your name sent, you should just go to invite only scripts. And you're pretty much just going to press web trend 1.0. This is like our other RSI index. We're not worrying about that for now. Right now, we're just focusing on web trend 1.0. And all you're going to do is click it. So boom, right now you have the indicator on. Now, here's the only problem with this. When you initially turn it on on TradingView, you probably see, I've seen a lot of other guys do this, is they actually don't have it so that it just shows the green and red candles. Like for example, it's showing green and red on all of them. And we don't want that. We want it so that all of these candles show up green or red depending on what trend they are in. So for example, how do we do that? All you're gonna do is go over to the settings icon, the little gear. You're gonna hover over symbol in the chart settings and you're just gonna turn these off right here. All, all three of them, you just wanna turn those guys off. So then now, as you guys can see, it made it so that anything above this line is now green. Anything below this line is now red. It just kind of oversimplifies things for you. It makes it super simple and super clean to see. So uh, I personally think that you guys should set it up that way. It's going to make it a lot more intuitive for just looking at a chart. You'll immediately know what's going on. Now, as well, I personally believe this is what something that Luke specifically told me, and I genuinely agree with it, is setting a solid background and doing a lighter background. I don't know why. It just kind of looks a little bit nicer, and it just kind of like keeps you more involved and energized. I don't know, maybe, maybe it's just placebo, but that's completely fine. But I preferably like having it on a lighter background. It just makes it easier for me, and I just like the style of it more. So rolling with a lighter background. So now that you guys are all set up, you can also get TradingView on the phone. I highly recommend if you guys are trying to be in the loop at all times, you're gonna wanna have TradingView on your phone because then if, say you have a trade-in, you'll be able to see what's going on price action wise, wherever you're at. So not all of us are always at, at the desk at home. So you're probably gonna wanna check out TradingView on the phone. And really, because you set it up on desktop like this, all you have to do is go and log in and you'll be, able to go and chart on your phone all points throughout the day. And that's how that 24 seven aspect gets into it. And it's very important that you just keep staying up to date with everything because then you'll have a general idea. Okay, I'm looking for the setup. This setup's looking nice right now. Let's see if it confirms it all that going forward. It's just gonna be a good way for you to strategically plan out your trades. It'll keep you in the loop because as a trader, they're always like super in into it. It pretty much just doesn't stop. I feel like there's something to be said about that because it just gets you prepared. Like I feel like I'm big in preparation and in this next video, I'm going to be showing you guys intricacies, where you guys can get in and out, where you guys should set your stops, eliminate risk, and what breaks you should maybe be looking for. So let's get straight into that video.